Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff and Jack from Achievement Hunter, and we are here for our final Alan Wake walkthrough video from oh, episode thank six. God. Your phone just it's made a just, noise. Well, eh, phones do your, that. Your, fo it's your just, phone's sad. It's, it's sad that Alan turn, Wake is turned your phone over. over. Yeah, so it can't sense. watch. Hey, what's on TV? Hey, you got an achievement. I did. The first TV you click on, if you've followed our guide, in episode 6 will get you the TV achievement. Then you start right here. Go ahead and pick up that thermos. Uh -huh. Then move our way over here I want to... A, I want Verizon now for some reason. You want some Verizon? Look at this sign. Ooh, cable TV. Yeah, I don't want to mess that up. There's a majestic hotel. Okay, then as we're heading along, there's going to be a way to turn a left by some construction equipment. Uh-huh. Turn off the street to the left, Jack. Okay. It's important. Then run your little ass all the way down Whee! here. Do, 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 do. I wonder if it's what time of year it is that Alan is visiting. I don't know. It's nice. He's, he's got a jacket on. Always wearing a jacket. And yeah. running around that much, he could get kind of hot and sweaty. Okay. True. Open this chest up and blood out. You got some chest stuff. All right. Chest stuff. Yeah. Then before you go through nice that uh, tunnel, go over here to the nice little barn. Uh huh. And around the back, you're going to find a thermos. What? Say what? Why'd you go around that way? You could have gone around the other way. That's just the way I roll, oh. dude. Now. You're going to notice that I'm not actually fighting the guys in this video, Jack. That's because I was going for the, ba basically, the make it through the end of the last level without actually firing a gun achievement. Yeah, yeah. So I get my ass handed to me quite a few times. So you're going to see me picking stuff up on the run, like that manuscript <laughs> page. <laughs> it was just the middle of the road. Yeah. Now over here, now we're at the hotel, the Majestic Motel, which is a creepy place. Majestic and Motel. And we're going to get our history and our thermos. And then on the outside, in the mm. back parking lot, is going to be pyramid number 11. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot it, because that would kill that achievement. Oh you, oh, you hit the guy with your truck. I did. Well, I can do that. That's the one way I I can kill people. Then, oh, okay. in this field, hook it left all the way to you see to this building, and you can get this thermos. Okay. Now, here we are running again. Here's a cool little trick. Once you get to the light, uh -huh. turn around. Turn around, Alan. See? All the bad guys are gone. What? So now I can run back and very safely pick up this manuscript. Oh, you nice. Look? Now, we're going to get to this part where the road dead ends, and there's going to be Larson's Auto Salvage Yard. Uh-huh. Uh, you can get this in any order, but I got this one first, which is the sign. Okay. Bam, yeah. history number 24, only one more of those. Then what? I drive over here. It looks like you can't go past. You could walk it if you what? wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend it because of bad guys and whatnot. So I decide to drive around. Uh -oh. Watch out for that shrub that stops trucks. <laughs> That's a, that shrub is made of concrete. Yeah. And Whoa. Uh, all the way back here is going to be page number 88. Just waiting for us. Why would he turn off the lights? Like, he got out of the truck and turned <laughs> the lights off. Well, he's trying to save power. <laughs> all right, now once you're in Larson's, uh, there's a safe point here. Uh, what do they call it? Safe Haven, I believe, Jack? I have, and, I've never played this game. Yeah. Well, maybe someday you will, and then you'll know. And then if you run around here to the back, you can find chest number 27, which is going to be full of all kind of chesty goodies. Ooh, chesty goodies. Yummy, yummy. And uh, that sounded kind of weird. So you're saying you're a chest man? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure we get history number 25, which Whoa! is going to be Falls Aficionado, 30 gamer score. Aficionado. All that hard work paid off in the, in the uh, sum of 30 gamer score. Then we're going to go around here. And bam, there's a thermos waiting for us, so yoink that thermos. And then upstairs Whoa, in that building, it's all red. there's your pyramid right over there. Okay. Uh, I'm Whoa, the guy showed dudes up. In there. Yeah, so I had to run away. And then there's a jump over here you're going to want to go on in your car. But right before, stop to the right there, and you'll get that thermos. Then this area, right before the safe haven, you kind of have to go this way. This one's hard to miss, uh -huh. believe it or not. So grab that page, and then as we're moving right along, we're going to come to this busted-out bridge. Over here on the right is going to be your yoinky-doink oh, chest. That was a chest. And then when hey, we're, we're in Red Dead area, Redemption now. Yeah, suddenly we're, it's in the cowboy days. This is right after an ambush. Go up a little bit. It's on the right. Now, this is in the room where you have to push the cart to get into. Push the cart to get into. That's going to be back there. And then from this point... This is the point right here where they're going to want you to climb up a train. Uh -huh. Instead of doing that, go to the right, go through that little uh, Wait, so it's empty Uncharted train 2 car. now? Yes. <laughs> and then after you've climbed that train and you're up here in this area, along right, right on the back, kind of hidden, is that thermos. 97. My, yeah, we're getting close, dude. Man. And then there is... After you come out of that, you're going to go straight. Whoa! Instead, this is where stuff's like falling out of the sky. Hook it far left... And once again, Whoa. I can't fight these guys, so it's kind of a treacherous yeah, and a me. shovel. That and you can nice see at over all. here this train Whoa. car. Yeah, look, at shit's falling everywhere. And if you run up the back of the train car, bam, there's a flashbang and a thermos. And right. then now we're making our way up the stairs. We have to go into this building and then go up the stairs to move on the level. But before we do that, let's go around here to the back and get our chest. And then from the upstairs... Hey, hey oh, look at that! Achievements! Yeah, another 30 gamer score. How Discovered about that? All the hidden chests. Bam. Now we're going to drop down. We're at 90 gamer score already. Dude, totally. We're supposed to go forward, but instead we're going to kind of backtrack over here to the windmill and get thermos number 99. Only uh -huh. one more to go. Uh -oh. Now, after we get up the elevator... After an ambush, okay, take your time. come over here and pick up manuscript page number 91, Jeez. which is going to hey, give us another, another achievement. Hey. Picking up after yourself, Jack. 91 uh, pages, meticulously gathered. Now, 
This is our last one. This is in the, like, I'm not going to tell you what this is. But walk around here, going you're going to see a lot of words. Look for the word thermos. It's going to be right over here by the couch. Uh -huh. And shine your light on it. Uh -huh. Like this. Like Ooh, so. Boom. And bam. Thermos what? 100. And this is going to be our final achievement in Alan Wake. Look at that. And it's going to be hypercaffeinated. Another 30 gamer score. That was like 150 points. So this was like points. a gamer score smorgasbord. Man. Well, good job, sir. Thanks, buddy. It was worth it.